بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم القدوس السلام الرزاق القريم وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده رب لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلوات الله وسلامه عليه أما بعد as we come to a small benefit إن شاء الله تبارك وتعالى in regards to uh, arrogance or in regards to a person being arrogant and looking down on the people as Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu he reported the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said la yadukhul janna min kana fi qalbi mithqalu darratin min kibar he said sallallahu alayhi wa sallam no one who has the weight of a seed of arrogance in his heart will enter paradise someone said indeed a man loves to have beautiful clothes and shoes so the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he says إن الله جميل يحب الجمال الكبر البطل الحق وغمت الناس Really Allah is beautiful and he loves beauty and arrogant it means to rejecting the truth and looking down on the people to reject the truth even if it's someone that you dislike someone that you look down on but he has the truth with him as Ibn al-Rajab رحمه الله تعالى he says some of the righteous some of the Salaf, some of the righteous predecessors, Yani the Salaf al-Salih, Rahimahallah Ta'ala, they would say, Al-Tawadu' an tuqabbal al-haq wa min kulli man ja'abihi, wa in kana sagiran, fa min qabal al-haq wa min ma ja'abihi, sawa'an kana sagiran, aw kabiran, wa sawa'an kana yuhibbuhu, aw la yuhibbuhu, فهو فهو ماذا متواضع ومن أبا قبله ومن أبا قبل الحق تعظما تعظما عليه فهو متكبر الله المستعان. He mentions رحمه الله تعالى. He says humility is that you accept the truth from anyone who brings it, even if they are young. Whoever accepts the truth from who ever brings it to him. Whoever accepts the truth from whoever brings it to him, whether they are young or old, whether he loves them or not, then he is humble. But whoever, يعني, whoever refuses to accept the truth because he regards him as too, in, يعني, too important beside it, or as compared to the person who speaks it to him, then he is arrogantly and proud. So an individual... In some cases, don't accept the truth because because of the person who said it. Because that person look at that person who said it as insignificant. Oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you are a layman, or you are not a student of knowledge, or you are a stray, or all of these terms and statements that individuals say about a person that whoever rejects the truth, even if it comes from someone who is young or someone who is older or someone that he loves or someone that he doesn't love it is upon the person to be humble and accept the truth wherever it may come from or whoever it may be so the true servants the true servants of Allah are those who carry themselves with humility and they forgive people for their bad behavior as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he mentions وَإِبَادُ الرَّحْمَانِ الَّذِينَ يَمْشُونَ عَلَى الْأَرْضِ هَوْنَا وَإِذَا خَاتَبَهُمُ الْجَاهِلُونَ خَالُوا سَلَامًا So the servants of the most merciful are those who walk upon the earth in humility and when the ignorant addresses them they say words of peace نَسْأَلَ اللَّهُ السَّلَامُ نَسْأَلَ اللَّهُ السَّلَامُ الْعَافِيَةِ We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow us to accept the haq from wherever it comes from. And for us, it is upon us to not be arrogant because you may know more than that person or you may deem yourself as more knowledgeable of this person.